What's up guys, it's Living Survival, and today I got the Snug Pack All-Weather Shelter, so stick with me. Alright guys, so let's take a look at what you get in this Snug Pack All-Weather Shelter. As you can see, it comes in a nice stuff sack. It's got a nice loop on it and a nice cord lock here. So it all fits down in a nice small package. And I've actually been carrying this in my pack for quite a while. So I'm excited to, uh, to finally get it set up and uh, see what you can do with it. So in the bag, there's another stuff sack in here. And in there, you've got your cordage. It comes with all your, uh, your cordage. And also comes with some aluminum stakes here, quite a few aluminum stakes. And then you've got some cordage with the tensioners. And then of course, you've got the shelter itself or tarp. The reason they call it an all-weather shelter is it's essentially a tarp. You can put it over a hammock or you can, you know, put it in any sort of configuration that you would put a uh, tarp shelter in. It is sill nylon. It does have grommets in quite a few places. All right, so all stretched out here. It is nine by nine or three meter by three meter. So you can see here it also has the uh, reinforced straps that you can run a ridge line through and that's the first configuration we're gonna put it in. All right, so first I'm gonna set up a snug pack hammock and I'll show you uh, how you can use the tarp to uh, cover the hammock. All right, so I got the hammock set up here. We're gonna go ahead and throw a ridge line across and uh, we'll use the all-weather shelter to cover the hammock. Now it does come with four uh, lengths of paracord, not very long, maybe six feet or so. So you would wanna create your own ridge line. I just tied two pieces together for, uh, for this demonstration, but uh, you know, I would probably make my own ridge line and then I'd be able to adjust it as well. And the other two pieces of cord, I'm just gonna use to tie out the two sides. All right, so I just got that staked out, and then you can make your adjustments for tension with the uh, included tensioners on there. All right, so on that side down there, I staked it to the uh, ground, and then on this side here, we just tied it to a tree. And you can see it's very versatile. Uh, we just have a ridge line running across the top with some paracord. And uh, being nine by nine, it'll definitely give you plenty of shelter uh, in your hammock, in and around your hammock. So I can just come in here, and I've got plenty of shelter over my head. And I can definitely tension this out so that if it were to rain, the rain wouldn't collect on it or anything, but uh, definitely with the included webbing that runs across the ridge line, and you have multiple webbing options all across the tarp so that you have plenty of tie-out options, and then you also have grommets at all four corners. And you can easily make a very large uh, lean-to or A-frame. Show you guys what the inside looks like. There's plenty of room in there. And here's yet another option you can do with the all-weather shelter. You can make yourself a pup tent. So here's another example of a shelter you can make. 
All right guys, so you can see that the Snug Pack all-weather shelter is extremely versatile. You can make it pretty much into any shelter you want. It's nine by nine, so it's a good size, and it's made out of 210 ripstop nylon. All the seams are taped, and uh, you know it'll give you excellent waterproofing, whether you're covering over your hammock or you're just making a, a makeshift shelter with it. It would work excellent. It does come with four of the paracord ties, although I'd probably get my own clips and things like that to uh, attach to the webbing, make it a little bit easier. Uh, once you've played around with it a little bit, it also comes with a bunch of aluminum stakes. One last thing that you can do with it is it does have snaps down two of the sides and you can make it into an emergency bivy as well. So lots of versatility with the Snug Pack all-weather shelter. It does weigh 35 ounces, so it's got a little bit of weight to it, but again, it's a lot lighter than your average 9x9 tarp's going to be, and it packs down quite a bit smaller into its own little stuff sack. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments below, and uh, if that subscribe button is red, make sure you click it, guys, for more videos.